Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Peppa, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. Peppa, what interesting things can you see? Just trees and trees and more boring trees. <laughs> Peppa, you're not looking hard enough. All right, I'll look really hard and I still won't see anything. Oh, what's that? Peppa has found some footprints. Whose footprints are these? Dinosaur! Oh, George, they're not dinosaur footprints. Let's follow the footprints and see who made them. Yes! <laughs> Shh! We have to be very quiet so we don't scare anything away. Yes, Mummy. George. Shh. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Peppa and George are following the footprints. Look. The footprints were made by a little bird. She's flown into a tree. Where? Here, Peppa. Look through the binoculars. The binoculars make everything look bigger. I can see one, two, three baby birds. Ah, oh, I wonder what they're eating. Yeah, they're eating worms. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what little footprints. The footprints are being made by ants. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? <laughs> yes. Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic. Daddy Pig, you've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes, but it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. <laughs> Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. <coughs> wow. Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <coughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. <coughs> He's the worst, scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. Yeah. And he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, 
This way home. <laughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <laughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <laughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh. It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. <laughs> It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four. Four eggs, Granny! Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <coughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Yes, it's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy took the car. How do we get to the vet? We can take the bus. Oh, goody! <laughs> this is the bus stop. The timetable says the next bus will be here at ten o'clock. What time is it now? Ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> How many tickets? One mummy ticket and two little piggies. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. <laughs> Hold tight. Mr Bull is waiting for the bus. Moo! One ticket to the music shop, please. Hello, Mr Bull. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, dear. Feeling poorly, are we, Goldie? She can't talk. She's a fish. Of course. Uh, maybe she'd like to hear a tune on my tuba. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds funny. That's why I'm going to the music shop to get it mended. Ooh. Mrs Sheep, Mrs Cat, Mr Zebra and Madame Gazelle have got on the bus. Uh -oh. Four tickets to the supermarket, please. Hello, Madame Gazelle. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, is Goldie not well? I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <laughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur! Oh, George! You always say dinosaur. Oh, it is a dinosaur. Ooh! 
She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow! Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. <laughs> I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. There's Tiddles! OK, just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Pepper, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. OK, okay Granny Pig. Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Eh, slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night-night, chickens. Night-night, chickens. Night-night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, it's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> hedgehog. Bye-bye. Ah! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have a pet parrot. Pepper, George, this is our pet parrot. She's called Polly. Pretty Polly. Ah! Pretty Polly! Wow! I am a clever parrot. Ah! I'm a clever parrot! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why does Polly copy everything that Granny says? That's what parrots do. I'll show you. Hello, Polly. What a sweet little parrot. What a sweet little parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Tea time. Pepper, George, come on. There's chocolate cake. Come in, Granny. <laughs> Pepper and George love eating chocolate cake. But today, they are in a hurry to get back and play with Polly Parrot. Finished. Noisy little ones you are. Granny, please can we leave the table and go and see Polly Parrot? Are you sure you've completely finished your cake? <laughs> Off you go then. Hooray! <laughs> George, say something to Polly. 
George is a little bit shy. Hello. <laughs> Peppa and George are really enjoying playing with Polly Parrot. <laughs> Mummy, I think they want some more. That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Duck. We've no more bread. <laughs> The ducks want more food. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> eh? What? You lot again? Peppa told you, there's no more bread. Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade strawberry cake. Oh, a wasp! I hate wasps. Shoo! What a fuss, Mummy Pig. It's only a little wasp. <gasps> Go away, wasp! Just stay still, Mummy Pig. Then it will fly away. <sniffs> there, you see? All you had to do was stay still. Eh? Get away! Scram! <sniffs> Help! <sniffs> Shoo! <sniffs> Get it off me! I hope the wasp doesn't sting, Daddy. Oh, get away, you little pest! No, Daddy Pig is running too fast for the wasp to catch him. <laughs> Let's eat our cake before the wasp comes back. <laughs> oh, no, we forgot to leave any for the ducks. <sighs> I think I lost it. You said you would run around and get some exercise, Daddy Pig, but I didn't believe you'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I managed to hang on to my slice of strawberry cake. Stop, Daddy! We promised the rest of the cake for the ducks. Oh. You are very lucky, ducks. <laughs> Say thank you to Daddy Pig. <laughs> You're most welcome. Ho, ho. It's time to go home. Say goodbye to the ducks. Bye-bye, ducks. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. <laughs> I'm a little butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. Yes, Peppa, you're a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, George, what are you doing? We are wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a wriggly worm too. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. How do you do? I love you. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What animal do you want to be now? Hmm, I don't know. <coughs> Look, Grandpa, there's a little frog. <coughs> Why don't you play at being frogs? Hmm, frogs are not as pretty as butterflies or as wiggly as worms. But frogs do play a game you like. Hmm. Do frogs play dolls' houses? <laughs> Silly Peppa. What's your favourite game? Jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> yes, frogs love jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> yes, George. Let's play frogs. <laughs> I'm a little froggy. <laughs> I'm a little froggy. <laughs> 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 the froggies have found a nice big muddy puddle to play in. 
Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Butterflies and worms are very nice, but I like frogs the best. <laughs> <laughs> There's a spider in my bedroom. Oh, oh don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very, very small, and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. Pepper feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr Skinny Legs. Ah! Mr Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? <laughs> Pepper and George like the spider. <laughs> night, night. George is putting the spider to bed. No, George. He wants some tea. He doesn't want to be in bed. Are you hungry, Mr Skinny Legs? Would you like some cake? Pepper isn't afraid of the spider anymore. Mummy, Daddy, sit down. We are all going to have tea with Mr Skinny Legs. Who wants tea? Me, please. Me, please. <coughs> Delicious. Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Here's your tea, Mr Skinny Legs. What's that? You want to say hello to my daddy? Hello, Mr Daddy Pig. Hey, uh, that's all right, Pepper. Let Mr Skinny Legs drink his tea. You're not scared, are you, Daddy? Oh, no, of course not. Well, <laughs> not so close. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Pepper likes Mr Skinny Legs. Everyone likes Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> George has got Polly's birdseed. <laughs> George, that is too much birdseed. Polly will go very big and burst like a balloon. Pop! Ah, burst like a balloon! Pop! <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Dear, George has forgotten to close the door. Ah! Ah! Ice cream! Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady. Hello, Mummy Pig. <coughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> George, you forgot to close the door. <coughs> Polly will have flown away. <coughs> Don't worry, Pepper. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <coughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? <coughs> it's Polly! Hooray! <coughs> How are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah! Don't worry, Pepper. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. Be careful, Daddy. Don't fall out of the tree like you always do. Don't worry, Pepper. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. I wonder where George is going. George has got Polly's birdseed. Polly loves to eat birdseed. 
George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! This is Grandpa Pig's garden shed. There'll be plenty of things in here to make a scarecrow. First, we need two sticks and some string. We'll find them. <laughs> Pepper has found some sticks. George has found some string. Good. I'll tie the sticks together to make the body. Granny Pig has found some straw and an old sack. Lovely. I'll put the straw in the sack to make the head. <laughs> now the scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. Ooh. George has found a dress. <laughs> Silly George. Mr Scarecrow doesn't want to wear a dress. <laughs> Pepper has found a coat. Very good, Pepper. George has found a hat. Very good, George. Mr Scarecrow needs a face. That's right. Would you and George like to paint a face? Yes, please. <laughs> George paints the eyes and nose. Pepper paints the mouth. Fantastic! Mr Scarecrow is ready. Hooray! The little birds are looking for Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Look, the little birds are back. Don't worry, Pepper. Mr Scarecrow will scare them off. It worked. Mr. Scarecrow has scared the little birds away. Hooray! Good. Now my flower seeds will not be eaten. Oh, Grandpa, the birds look very sad. Yes, they must be hungry. That's why I've brought this. What's that, Granny? It's a bird feeder. Grandpa, may I have some seeds, please? Come on, birdies. Lunchtime. Now the birdies have their own seeds to eat. Hooray! The little birds are happy again. <laughs> Peppa is glad that Grandpa Pig's seeds will not be eaten. But she is even more glad that the little birds will not be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a monster. It's just a little snail. Oh, where has he gone? He's hiding in his shell. Is that where he lives? Yes. It's his house. Look, he's coming out again. Hello, Mr Snail. <laughs> Grandpa, does Mr Snail have a bed in his house? Oh, oh no, Pepper. If I were a snail, I'd have a bed and a table and a chair and a fridge and a television. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Grandpa, what do snails eat? Well, mostly they eat my vegetables. Oi, stop that, you cheeky rascal. <laughs> Grandpa, George and I want to play cheeky snails. <laughs> These baskets can be your shells. There. Now you look like two cheeky snails. <laughs> and I'm going to eat up all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi! Keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. <laughs> and when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> All of Peppa's friends are here. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Peppa and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. 